legislative leaders to Washington. Of course, it's an abuse of office. It's an open attempt to intimidate election officials. Uh, it's absolutely appalling. Actually, in the context of all these losses and the record of failure that I just described, it's also pathetic. But having said all of that, it will be unsuccessful. So on the one hand, this is really very harmful to the democratic process, and it naturally troubles people a great deal. On the other hand, it's doomed to failure. No state legislature in our country's history ever has done what Donald Trump is apparently agitating for the Michigan state legislature to do, which is to ignore the results of a popular vote election and wrest control from the voters or attempt to wrest control from the voters and appoint their own slate of electors to send to Washington. Now, the reason it's never happened before is that it cannot be done. Uh, the Constitution does not permit a state legislature to do what Donald Trump wants the Michigan state legislature to do. The state legislature has already prescribed the manner in which the electors in 2020 were to be chosen, and that is through the popular vote.